morning, Kerry Roads, Roads to Safety. Oh, it's a bit nippy today. I've come down a little bit of the levee to try and cut out some of the wind so it doesn't interfere too much with the microphone. Today I wanted to have a word with you about deafness. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is because usually Axel is really well behaved, but just lately he's been a bit of a, how shall we say, a bit of a swine. Recall, he's usually excellent at, and there's been occasions when he's ignoring me. We've also had occasions when I've asked him to stay, and again he's ignored that and come anyway. And I did just put it down initially to sheer bloody mindedness really, I suppose. Um, he's 11 and a half, and as we get older we do tend to get a bit more cantankerous I suppose, and think that rules don't apply to us, so I had put it down to that. And then it hit me. Maybe that's not actually the problem. Maybe he's actually showing signs of deafness. So with that in mind, I thought we'd start using some hand signals with him. The problem that you have with dogs is that they get very good at reading you. They know your body language, your facial expressions, and I'm sure to an extent even a little bit of lip reading. So it makes it very difficult to establish when the hearing is going. I mean, they're not gonna tell you, are they? And this is the state that we're at with Axel. So I started putting in the hand signals, a straightforward hand up for a stop and both arms out wide for a come. Basic stuff like that that we've been using along with our verbal cues all the time. And the minute I started putting the hand signals in, wonders upon wonders, my beautifully behaved, obedient golden trousers came back again. So just a little thought for you there. If you notice that your normally well-behaved senior citizen is suddenly ignoring you and doing exactly as he liked, and maybe it's not his fault. Maybe he's not ignoring you. Maybe he just can't actually hear you. So have a go with the hand signals and see if you can do any better. Right, we're going. It's freezing and we need to get cracked on and get a bit of uh, blood racing around our bodies to keep us warm. The boys have got their coats on, obviously, as have I, but even so we need to get on. So stay safe and I'll speak to you all again soon. Thanks.